I'm about as real as they come. All my beats tailored by Joe. Maserati Rick in Detroit. Beat. Convertible bird in Miami. Yeah, Miami yo. Graduated summa cum laude. No. Strip club made a tsunami. Black. Carlton Hines with the ball game. Black. Rayful Edmonds with the snowflakes. No. Craig Pettis in the M Town. Yeah. Sal Magluta with the boat game. <laughs> Falcone with the cocaine. Uh. Like Freeway Ricky with the plug game. Uh. Like Monster Cody in South Central. Uh. Larry Davis from Close uh. Range. Hey, hey, homie, I love the shit out of you, man. You <laughs> shot that shit. Play, I'm proud of you, brother. I'm telling you. You my play. I was telling you. you this, it was this letter I was trying to say to you, man. When I got, when them, when them dudes put out the pistols to me. Man, who was that, man? It was these fools from New York. This gang out there called A-Team. These man. fools was mad because I, I told them I wasn't fucking with them no more. Man, them motherfuckers, I was mad as hell about that shit. But when, I, when they pulled the pistols out, I swear on everything I love. First thing I thought about was reading in your book when you was talking about how you felt when them niggas drew down on you. Ain't that cold? exactly how I felt. The setup, the shit you was talking man, about. The shit, how you just look up and the nigga be like, boom. Right the there bullet. at you. Everything was just like that. I'm t- and, when you, and when you was going, when I was reading about the shit that happened to you, I was like, man, this shit is straight like parallel to me. It's exactly I'm the same. I'm telling you, can't nobody. bug me out. Lied about the rape shit. She's you smoking told, weed right now, huh? Huh? You smoking weed right now, huh? Nah, cigarette. Oh. <laughs> I will be focusing with my homeboys gonna come over here right now. Yeah. But um, the girl, see the girl that did this rape shit, she hooked up with the niggas that shot me. Oh, is that right? It's all connected. It was a big plan. I just caught it like at the end, and that's why they shot me. Man, hey man, you gotta stay up, man. When you when you step through that that way, man, you gotta be on point. Bro. I ain't going through there no more. If I do, I'm going with a hundred motherfuckers. Yeah, I'll be one of them. Yeah, no doubt. Right. Because man, no, we, can't, out. we can't be having you it's not here. <laughs> It has been nearly 15 years since Tupac Shakur was shot and robbed outside of Manhattan's Quad Studios, but the controversy surrounding that attack rages on today. Although no one has ever officially been fingered in the New York shooting, Pulitzer Prize winning writer Chuck Phillips recently claimed in an LA Times article that Diddy and the notorious B.I.G. were aware of a plot masterminded by Czar Entertainment co-founder Jimmy Roseman, also known as Jimmy Henchman. Last week, Phillips admitted that he'd been duped that the story was based on false FBI documents forged by a known felon, James Sabatino, who also was a key target in Phillips' report. Well, now we've gone straight to the source to find out from Jimmy Roseman himself what he saw on the night in 1994 when Tupac was shot. I lived with the rumor of what happened to Tupac for, for the last 14 years. And I think what, what happens is that rumors are rumors. You know, you either believe them or you don't. But I think when you have a reputable newspaper like the Los Angeles Times with a Pulit- Pulitzer Prize winner like mm-hmm. Chuck Phillips to validate a rumor, then it becomes real. Me and Tupac was pretty much friends. Um, we were good friends to a certain extent. So people in their mind, when they hear the story, they, don't, they think that, you know, it was just a bunch of guys, including me, trying to summon Tupac to the studio for no reason mm-hmm. on some hangout stuff, but it, it was all business. Trackmasters was there. Mm-hmm. Puffy had came down to say hi to me and Andre Harrell. It was about 15 people there. Did you or did you not have anything to do with him being robbed or shot at Choir Studios in 1994? Absolutely never even knew about it. Never heard about it before, afterwards, had nothing to do with it. Nobody that I know, associated with, they can dig up whatever they want to dig up. And I've been very firm in what I've said to people, is that I had nothing to do with it. According to Crime Scene Reports, Tupac was shot at Quaz Studios by two men wearing army fatigues. Tupac later accused Diddy, Biggie, and their associates of setting him up. However, over the years, details of the story have become obscured, and now no one quite knows how the events of the evening unfolded. I mean, it's hard for me to assess it only because there's so much rumors out there. There's so much guys who, you know, take the blame for things that they don't, they haven't really done. And maybe some of them have. It isn't for me to really try to figure that out. Mm -hmm. You know, I have my own theories in my head of what happened that night, only because when we, when Pac came out the elevator, he was conscious, he was talking, he was rolling up a, some weed, you know, he said a few things. I didn't see five sh- bullet holes in Tupac, 
as reported. It, it, you can ask Andre Harrell and all of these people that was there. There was over 15 people there. Why come nobody ever came up from Tupac's camp and said, Pac has told me that Jimmy did this? Why, why haven't these guys been interviewed? These are the guys who's lived with Pac. So I'm hoping that now that we've been able to just push these web, webs uh, aside and show how flimsy these rumors are, that I can go on with my career, that I could really put this behind me and nobody else don't have to ask me about Tupac Shakur. I, I'm praying not that just, he can, he can rest in These guys are not people. rappers, these gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Like the the guys that I ended up having beef with, not the not Ja Preem. Right, right. Not, not Game Jimmy. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so it's like, in, in these cases, like I, I, I kind of identify why he was so angry with his kid, with the little boy. You know what I'm saying? His boy got slapped in the face. Mm -hmm. It's like that. But it, it, they, yeah, they never slapped that boy. Mm -hmm. That was Mac that slapped mm -hmm. him. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then it's because the car got hit. Like when Bentley got hit, the mm -hmm. mixtape was. Like I had bought Yayo or Bentley. And the car got shot up. I yeah, remember that. Altercation. Mm -hmm. Now look, they parked, they parked the car mm -hmm. in the garage, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, let me see what happens. So I come over, I said, let me see the car. I want to see the, the holes in the car. And I look and I go, oh, nah, he just couldn't shoot. He was trying to make a move. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was right here. Like it was head, like at your head level, but it just hit the center part. You know what I'm saying? The car. So I was like, oh, okay. So, you, you know, you got to put your dancing shoes on. <laughs> Cause they're they're serious, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to come on, man. You don't push pause with everybody on go. Former hip hop promoter serving life in prison will get a new trial on charges that he ordered the killing of a rap group associate. The second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Manhattan said a judge made errors that affected the fairness of the trial of James Rosemond, better known as Jimmy the Henchman. Rosemond was convicted in December 2014 on charges he ordered a crew to kill an associate of the rap group known as G-Unit. Prosecutors said the killing was payback for an assault on Rosemond's son. His lawyer argued witnesses against him were unreliable. The appeals court said Rosemond told law enforcement officers when he was considering cooperating that he knew death would result when he and others took actions in September of 09 regarding a feud with Violator Records and its rap group. Yo, 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 we back. It's your boy Pop a lot. Mob ties. We on our way there and wild with it. Brooklyn to be exact. All my niggas from Brooklyn, y'all niggas get in the comment box, let it be known. Now, the guy we gonna be covering today goes by the name of James Roseman. But we only know him by Jimmy Henchman. Now, the backdrop on Jimmy Henchman. Uh, most of y'all know him probably from the Tupac. Um, and did I mention, promise to pay back Jimmy Henchman in due time. I know them bitch niggas was listening. The world is mine. Set me up, wet me up. Yeah, I remember that shit on Against All Odds. Um, some people might know him from managing the game with Czar Entertainment. Some people might know him from the recent legal issues that he ran into where he was charged. Um with the same drug charge that El Chapo was charged with, actually. And he also was charged with the murder of a G-Unit associate, which we showed that he was pretty much being granted a new trial for. Um, the, the, the start from Jimmy Henchman was he was born to um, immigrants from Haiti, at some point in time, he moved to the Flatbush area near the Vanderveer Projects. Um, and he began hanging with some guys in the Vanderveer Projects that were known as the Untouchables. Um, it's a gang that I remember from my childhood kind of vividly. Anybody that got any insight on this gang from Brooklyn, y'all get in the comment box, let it be known. We kind of, we want to know some. But, yeah, he started running with them. And then he slowly, he, he was doing, he was doing thug shit. Niggas, he was a known stick-up kid um, in Brooklyn, a known extortionist. 
we gonna kind of fast forward a little bit um to the 1994 no 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 let's not even go that far to the quad shooting yet but he pretty much got in the industry a little bit before that it was a music conference called how can i be down um that i want to say he met fab five freddy at some point in time he he got some kind of affiliation with fab five freddy this when your mtv raps was really really big um and due to that acquaintance with fab five freddy he was able to i guess start making a name for himself at that how can i be down conference but that slowly transitioned to success actually in the music game he also once dated salt from salt and pepper and he's responsible for their one-time hit shoop i want to say he he kind of made that happen somehow it's also a group called groove theory that had a, a single that peaked at number five um called tell me that he was responsible for that he also i want to say executive produced like exit wound romeo must die several 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 different things that he did in the music industry but that kind of seems like it never stopped him from the streets some some people no matter what the success is the streets just sometimes never going to leave you alone um with the with the amount of stuff that you put into it so it was a shooting where a guy by the name of Lodi mac who was a g-unit associate a friend of tony yayo was killed and that they said that was in retaliation to jimmy henchman's son being smacked and that was the murder that he was essentially charged with as far as the drugs i knew it was something to do with moving drugs from the west bringing them back to new york i'm not as i'm not sure as far as the time frame exact but if you listen to any of jimmy henchman's interviews it's it's um obvious that he feels like he's being framed um he feels like these charges against him are bogus so it's wild man it's wild so you know um fifth is kind of involved with it because you know 50 a gangster for real for real so they had a little bit of back and forth so this this shit is still ongoing um not sure the status as far as that appeal that he has on the murder but we gonna keep our eyes open for it uh y'all stay tuned in y'all follow me on instagram twitter at pop underscore a l o t y'all subscribe hit the bell at the bottom or whatever y'all get in the comment box let me know. Keep keep letting me know the people y'all want to cover and all of that stuff. Shit boy Pablo. Mob, 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 ties.